And please can I have one blue small tray of savoury crackers? Savoury crackers. Yeah, great. Okay, Jonathan, please could I have uh, five boxes of the tinned mackerel in tomato from the pallet just there? Um, Magda, please could I have two boxes of lettuce from fridge four, please? We receive food that otherwise would go to waste, so it's become surplus, whether it's that the kind of distribution level or the farm level, the supermarket level, or the um, kind of end of day um, things, so cafes as well that maybe have like sandwiches and pastries and things. So yeah, so across the food chain, and then we're able to sort it here and then redistribute it to places across the city. We are currently redistributing about 500 tonnes of food every year. So yeah, about 10 tonnes of food a week. At the moment, this is just coming off this truck over here, which is a delivery. And what we will do is sort it into sections and then the stuff that needs to go into the fridges will go into the fridge. We'll just check the dates as well to make sure they're stored correctly because obviously the stuff that comes in that has a shorter date will need to go out first. Um, the amount of food that goes to waste, I think it's crazy. And to be able to be involved in something which is in my community, I think is super important. I started about 15 months ago, so volunteering, I love it. It's, it's hard work physically, which is quite good. Um, you're working with a very sort of mixed group of people. So some really nice people here, um, in the sense of doing something worthwhile mm -hmm. you know we all throw food away and every time i do at home i feel bad about it but when you see the scale of stuff that sort of does get chipped away that you're doing something to you know something to try and yeah. minimize that to you know to reduce that and also getting it to people who need it you know we go to food banks to church groups um drop-in centers all sorts of places and you can see you know it's it's doing some good the quality of the food is very high and for a lot of the time there's no reason why that needs to have become surplus. It's perfectly edible, lots of it is really nutritious, which is really nice to be able to provide a really wide variety to projects and it doesn't have to be that people that are vulnerable only have access to either high sugar or high fat. Just going into places that I wouldn't normally go into, you know, I'm interested to see, you know, well, the extent of the food banks, even in places that you wouldn't expect it, you know, like Lewis. Okay, <laughs> Def, please could I have four cases of pesto jars from next door, please? Um, and it's, you can see, it's quite a jolly community okay. here. Yeah. You know, people people work there? together, and in the team, there are people like like me, you know, there are the, there are the professionals, there are people who are getting into work, getting experience to move on. Um, and um, yeah, it's, it's a good, it, you know, it's, it's quite a fun half day, even though, as you can see, it's quite hard work, physically hard work, yeah. So we have 95 approximately regular volunteers and they each come in on the same day every, uh, every week um, for a minimum of four hours. We wouldn't be able to do any of the stuff that we do without them so they sort the food, they drive the forklift to get the stuff off the vans, they um, count it all, they weigh it all, they store it in the fridges, they pick it for the deliveries. A huge, really wonderful group of people. Somewhere, maybe upstairs I think would be good. Yeah. What I feel, what I'm doing is amazing, you know. It's a very uh, community centre here as well, uh, feeling uh, here with this, um, all the volunteers and etc. They are all laughing and there's no tears and there's no moaning and uh, yeah, cup of tea and a biscuit and here we go. Yes, it's lovely. What I feel is not uh, when it comes from a feeling, you know, it comes from the heart, I feel that, you know, and I want to do more.